Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a birthday haul. So my birthday was March 5th, which was quite a while ago. Um, but with all the craziness happening, obviously, um, I'm not getting around filming it because I'm going to be home a lot. So maybe I'll have more videos coming. Maybe? Probably not. Alright, so I didn't get a whole lot. This is all going to be makeup because that's what I love to do. Um, and so it makes me happy. So we'll start with lipsticks maybe. I only got three lipsticks. I'm like reaching behind on my makeup desk here. Um, and I'm wearing two of them today. Um, I got the two of the new Gucci lipsticks. Um, I talked about one in my last video and that one was more of a satin finish. These are matte and the colors on these, oh my gosh, like I got some, this one in particular, the Carol Beige. It's like, I don't even know. Hold on. Where can I swatch it? It's like the perfect beige. Now it's going to look, if you're like a deeper complexion than me, it's going to be like almost grayish. So if you do want to get something, because the finish is beautiful. It's matte, but it's not like my lips are dry matte. Penny beige, which is darker than that one and a little bit more warm. So a little bit easier for more deeper skin to wear. So I have this one all over the lips and then the penny beige I put like on the inside rim because even the Carol beige is still like a little too light and gray for me. Um, but I love these so much. I love them. Oh, upside down. That's the, in the packaging is so beautiful. I don't, I'm not a good YouTuber. I'm so sorry, but yeah, the Gucci lipsticks. And then this lipstick formula, I don't know how long ago it came out, but like when I found out about it, I was like, I've got to try one. And it's the Hermes, is that how you say it? Hermes, Hermes. And I just got a matte formula again, but this matte formula is even better than the Gucci matte formula. Like amazing. This one is called Rouge Hermes Beige Natural. They have an orange one, like an orange, not a red orange, an orange that I really want to get. Um, but there's that one. It's more of like a pinky. Probably more wearable. Yeah. So I've been loving those. Now I'll go with one blush that I got. Um, it's a new shade from Nude Sticks that came out. I really like a cream blush. And like I've been really into creams lately. Like I've only got powder under my eyes. So everything else is cream. This is called Beach Babe. It's a new shade from them. And it's really like a I've been out in the sun type of shade. So it's like I like to put it just on the cheeks, on the nose and everything. And it's really pretty. It's blendable. So you can use a sponge, your hand, whatever. But there's the new Six Beach Babe. Alright. And then all I have left is eyeshadow palettes, which was kind of like the big one for me. I've been into like eyeshadow palettes lately um, and I'm wearing one of them today. So let's start with the Bloodlust by Jeffree Star. So I've never bought anything from Jeffree Star before. This is my first purchase. And I think what got me was the packaging, stunning. It's like velvet anyways. And the color story is so pretty. So there's what it looks like. And I've worn it probably like, I don't know, like two or three times. And it's good. It's just not like an everyday type of scheme. So I'm going to do more looks with it. I'm going to go through, like since being at home, I'm going to like go through all my palettes. Go play. <laughs> I'm going to go through all my palettes and do like three looks with each palette. Um, because I just want to get more use out of my palettes. So there's the Bloodless, which is so pretty. Um. Um, can, can I just put on a little bit of lipstick, no. please? Ari, go. Can you put this one? Okay. Sorry, guys. Hold on. There you go. Go play. Yay. Okay. My daughter is obsessed with makeup, just like me. Okay, so the next palette I got is Golden Mink from Tom Ford. This palette is so so beautiful like just look at those shades especially the top two I mean I like the bottom two 
but his like shimmer toppers are so so good um so yeah golden mink which i love so much and i'm not i don't know if i'll do three looks one palette with these ones because there's only four shades i mean you can the brushes just fell out but whatever um you can use them all differently but i like to pair this with my coco mirage okay next I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette, or yeah, Instant Eye Palette and Pillow Talk. That's what that looks like. Get it in there. You know, I've used this like once or twice. I mean, it's good. I like it. I don't know. I need to use it more. That's what it is. I just need to use it more. Maybe it's the fact that there's like. Like, th only three shimmer. No, there's four. Four shimmers and the rest are matte. And I don't know. I like to have a bunch of shimmers in a palette. But it's pretty. I like it. It's good for, like, a date night makeup or something. Okay. This last palette is the Smoky Glow Palette. And it's the one I'm wearing on my eyes. And if you see them inside, you know it's a colorful palette. What are y'all doing? Get out of here. Can we have these? No. Wait, Ari. Leave. Quarantine's getting to us, friends and family. If you see me on the news, you know why. Okay. Anyways. So this is a smoky glow palette. And I actually did an eyeshadow look on Instagram using like all the pinky shades and everything. And I actually used that one as a blush too. Um, but it's so pretty and it's so colorful but I wanted to do a look today that was neutral because I feel like everybody should like I mean obviously everybody wears neutral eyeshadow looks but I feel like you need just to practice with some color I mean I don't know I guess it's just me but I love color um so this is so pretty like this nutty shade oh my gosh can you even tell Oh my goodness. Hold on. I don't know. It doesn't want to focus on it, but it's stunning. Group chat is the beautiful highlighter shade, which is how I wore it. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I think it's sold out again, but if you get the chance, please grab it. It's like are so pretty but today I, I literally used all the neutral shades so i used um cold brew a rant half pony vote instagram model and even dofa i used all those today and i actually use a little bit of basic to add into the that one to make it a little bit lighter but yeah i love it it's so pretty oh my gosh almost so i was gonna say this is the last thing but i almost forgot i have one more item and I keep it in my makeup desk down here. And it is so pretty and I can't wait to play with this too. So this is the Likely Makeup new eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, eyelash collection. And they've got like the coolest lashes and I can't wait to play. I'm so excited to do more colorful looks, you know. Oh my gosh, this would happen to me. I'm done with today. Okay. Yeah. How pretty is that? I would have it on upside down. Who cares? You know, who cares at this point? Um, these are so cool to me. Like, I'm like, how would I wear that? But I'm excited to. And then it gets like more full as you go down. So I think that is so cute and her packaging is so cute like she's beautiful like goals that is goals right there but yeah and that's the last thing I got so I'm gonna try and do tutorials um I actually I have a ring light now my husband got that for me um so hopefully I'll be able to figure out how I can film like I guess with this up here like closer I'm just like this is the first day I'm playing with it. We just got it in the mail yesterday. So, 
I was just sick of like, I didn't have anything to prop my phone up on because I'm filming on my phone. I didn't have good lighting. I always had to be like in front of the window and now I can just sit in front of my makeup desk and I can just do makeup and live my best life. Anyways, thanks for coming. Um, leave in the comments down below how you guys are doing. I know it's a stressful time. I would also love to do a video on Tiger King. Just listen. I have so many thoughts about it. I have so much, like, I'm just, I'm in distress, okay? Because, you know, I'm not even going to go into it. But my next video, maybe I'll do, like, a makeup plus talking about Tiger King. Because I'm obsessed. Um, I, like, want to watch the whole thing again. Just, <sighs> just because I love it so much and there's so many layers to it like each character like has so many layers and if you ask me I'll just slip this in here yes Carol effing Baskin murdered her husband like allegedly supposedly in my opinion okay and I hope they reopen the case but besides her the worst character on there and maybe y'all are surprised but I have my I have my thoughts about this Jeff Lewis he is like the ultimate con man. Like, he's got more wrong with him, I feel like, than everybody else. But he, the people that can hide what's wrong with them is like the scariest type of people. But, um, anyway, so we'll talk about that in another video. But if you have thoughts about the Tiger King down below, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.